In this video, I'll show you how to use the directory submitter in SEO panel. Okay, so once you're logged in as administrator, go ahead and click on SEO tools and scroll down to where you see directory submission and click on that tab. From there, you should be directed to this interface that says semi-automatic directory submission tool. So, the first thing you need to do is select which website you want to submit. So either your website or your client site. Then, once that's done, you have the option to select if you want to submit to directories without CAPTCHA or only to directories without reciprocal links. So you can select the options that you want here. And you can also select which page rank for the directories you want to submit to and what language as well. So I don't care about either one of these options here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to select language, go down to English, and then I'm going to click show details. So here is where you enter in your submission details. So you have the owner name, owner website, website category, website URL, and all this other information here, which you can easily read yourself. And then what's unique is that you have optional titles and descriptions that you can submit to. So what this does is once you enter in a uh, Submit Title 2, Submit Title 3, Submit Title 4, etc. What SEO Panel will do is it will alternate between your titles randomly so that you get the best results. So, go ahead and follow this information. And then once you're ready to submit, what you do is click on the... Okay, so as you can see, you have the very first directory that you can submit to. You see the Google page rank. Then you can also select a category that you want to submit to. Then, and then since you're using a combination of directories with capture and without it, then you have to enter in the capture manually. And then click submit. And then once that's done, you can keep repeating the process. So just select the category, and then enter in the capture. Then click submit. And then this process should keep repeating. If you see a directory that you do not want, again, you can easily select the skip button. If you see one that you want to reload, go ahead and hit it. That's pretty much that.